Hi guys, um, some of you remember a few weeks ago, or actually possibly even longer than that now, I mentioned that I'm um, slightly colourblind and uh, some of the water testing kits, the colours I just really struggled to, uh, to see accurately uh, compared to somebody with normal colour vision. And uh, I mentioned that in my searching for you know, another solution, I came across a device that gave you an LCD readout well, as soon as I actually wanted to go and find it again, I couldn't. <laughs> but fortunately, about a week ago, I uh, I came across the uh, the product again, and it's uh, it's called uh, the C Test Control System, and it's by a French company. And uh, you know, surprisingly, the uh, the product's actually made uh, in Europe as uh, as well. And uh, what well, you use it in conjunction with. Uh, various uh, C test test kits and uh, you dip the end of the device into the uh, the, the resulting colored uh, water and it, uh, it gives you an LCD measurement uh, and quite usefully you can actually connect this to your PC and uh, download and store all the results uh, from you know the various tests uh, and if, I mean, not this is going to be of any use to anybody I don't think but you can actually use the same thing on up to 10 different uh, tanks although uh, I can't imagine any of us have got uh, 10 tanks uh, on the go but you know perhaps if you're a, a you know a, a, a marine shop you might have 10 different tanks so I thought we'd just uh, have a look at uh, this it's uh, it's 89 pounds so it's not a cheap uh, solution obviously that only gets you the the main unit and then each of the kits is around uh, 15 to 16 pounds so well, I thought we'd have a quick look at this first as I said it's made in uh, made in Europe which is nice to see um, I was quite surprised when I opened it to find absolutely no instructions or anything whatsoever apart from all you've got is the main unit, uh, a couple of cheap nasty batteries and a USB uh, cable. Um, there, are a QR, there is a QR code on here so you can just download the instructions uh, and I assume somewhere in the instructions it tells you uh, where you can download uh, any uh, required software uh, from so yeah I mean it's never nice to see cheap batteries in uh, in any unit would have, for that price I and mean, it weighs virtually nothing I would much rather have seen some Duracells or some higher end batteries it's not at the end of the world but for a product of that price I think it should come with uh, better batteries um, made in the made in the UE it says <laughs> rather than EU on the back and uh, there's a removable plastic cover for the probe and uh, something on here says do not remove the cover uh, okay I assume it means it doesn't mean that does it oh actually maybe it does we'll, uh, we'll perhaps have to download the instructions and see exactly what it's uh, what you need to do because there is a hole in there so yeah maybe uh, you don't need to remove that but if it's going to get water in it uh, you're going to have to dry it and clean it so yeah anyway that's a quick look at uh, the main unit there you've got select test and standby buttons uh, trying to see where you plug the USB cable uh, in nowhere obvious I'm just going to take the battery cover off we'll have a look and get the batteries fitted oh <laughs> no whether you can see that because the lights not quite in the right place here we go that's better the USB port is um, strangely un in here and under the battery cover so you, if you want to plug this into your PC you're going to have to remove uh, the battery cover every time that seems a bit uh, a bit tough. <laughs> anyway, let's pop the uh, pop the batteries in and uh, get this fired up. They're obviously clearly marked as you would uh, 
expect. And I'm just going to put this cover back on. I've got to say it's pretty cheap, nasty uh, plastic. Right, so if we uh, now fire this uh, up. So it said A5 and then TAN and then 1. So if we go through and press test. Okay, it's just going to go through various numbers. So it's, it's just cycling through numbers up to uh, 10. Okay, again, I don't know whether you can see this. So it looks like uh, number two is, we press test, is, uh, hang on. Oh, okay, now it's NH4, pH, NO2, NO3, PO4, NH4. Yeah, yeah okay, obviously I'm going to need to read the uh, instructions. But this display is quite... Uh, quite clear so if you wanted to test the pH I'm assuming now you would dip that into the water and press test that goes blank and then comes up with a reading of 6.83 so yeah definitely going to have to download the instruction manual and uh, have a closer read but yeah it is it does feel cheap I've got to say, um, but if it does the job, I don't think I'll be uh, I'll be too bothered to be perfectly honest. Um, but ninety pounds does seem somewhat excessive for uh, for that, and to have to remove the back cover to get to the USB port uh, seems even dafter. But anyway, so that's a quick look at uh, at that. So we'll just have a quick look at the uh, well, both of the test kits. I bought uh, calcium and magnesium. Uh, the top of this is covered in dust. So I guess they don't sell uh, too many of, uh, of these. It's got a bit battered in the post. And uh, yeah, I have to say, I think the packaging is going to need to be taped up. I like to actually keep my uh, test kits in the boxes they came in. but. I think without a bit of tape on this one, it's not going to last uh, very long at all. So, if we just have a look and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got three bottles labelled uh, one, um, okay, one, three, okay, and inside this file there is the... Uh, the powder which is labelled 2, uh, a little spoon there which is usually a level uh, teaspoon, there's some, uh, well, it looks like residue in this tube already actually, oh no what it is is where that's been inside it and it's been rattling around it's actually scratched the plastic on the inside of the, the test uh, tube so, yeah, okay, well, so that's everything. I don't think that box is going to last very long, but I'm going to try and tape it up to keep everything in. I expect we've probably got basic instructions in about 20 languages, and we have. Uh, this particular one, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that. Uh, it requires. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so 5 millilitres of water and uh, I, mean, I use a syringe but there is a blue line at the 5 and 10 milliliter mark. Uh, six drops of number one which is that then step two is oh that's ridiculous half you're supposed to get half a scoop of the powder now Tell me how you get half a half a spoon of powder in there. And I find it hard enough to, to get a level uh, spoon for the other test kits, the Red Sea ones that I've got. So why didn't they just make it smaller? So it was one full one. The powder, I don't know whether you can see, is really really fine. So it would have been quite easy to get half, you know a smaller spoon and 
uh, of the right quantity I see no way that I'm going to be able to work out half of that that's ridiculous yeah okay not impressed with that uh, so half half a spoon shake it again and then uh, one two three drops plus a question mark okay uh, blah, 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 blah. okay so this is a uh, like a titration one you add stage three drops and uh, until it turns red okay and then you carry on adding until it changes to blue count the number of drops that need to be added in order to change the color to blue one drop equates to 25 milligrams of calcium okay and then some details about how to uh, to uh, measure calcium well that's interesting so why is there no mention of using the tester for this then well I really hope I haven't misread the uh, the eBay listing because they had this listed and then from a drop down menu you selected all of the the test kits that you uh, you wanted but there's no instructions actually with the test kits regarding the actual LCD unit itself so yeah I think in that case I'm gonna have to download the instructions uh, for the unit and uh, the software I mean it really wouldn't have hurt for that money to have included a little mini CD in here it would have fitted in the bottom uh, with the instructions and whatever software is required to use it uh, so yeah that's just a, a quick look a little bit disappointed with that to start with uh, and uh, yeah I'll just download the instructions and update you in a while